Hello everyone. Let's continue our next four word problems from XS 1.2 NCRT book 6th grade. These are the four word problems we are going to deal with in this video. Okay, let's start the first word problem, fifth word problem. Yeah, the fifth question is find the difference between the greatest and the least five digit number that can be written using the digits 6, 2, 7, 4, 3 each only once you have to use these digits only one time and first find the greatest number and the least number of five digit numbers each and then you need to find the difference between those two numbers okay first let us write what is the greatest number using these digits using six two seven four three the greatest number formed the greatest number is equal to greatest number starts with greater digit 7 next comes 6 and go on to descending order 76432 this is the greatest number using these digits and also like that find the least number also using those digits the least number formed is equal to the least number starts with least number to next go to highest like ascending order so, 2, 3, just reverse to the previous number. 2, 3, 4, 6 and 7. So, we need to find the difference between these two numbers. So, the difference, right, the last step, the difference between those numbers. Difference is equal to, uh, yeah, 2 becomes 12 and 3 becomes 2. 12 minus 7, 5. 2 minus 6, again not possible. Let us borrow. 3 and this is 12. 12 minus 6 is again 6. And 3 minus 4 not possible again. Let us write again borrow 5 and 13. 13 minus 4 is 9. Next 5 minus 3 2. And 7 minus 2 is possible. So we can directly write it as 5. So the answer is 52,965. Next we will go to the 6th word problem. A machine on an average manufactures 2,825 screws in a day. How many screws did it produce in the month of January 2006? Remember in 2006 or in any year, January completely contains only 31 days in any year. In any year, January contains only 31 days. So, you are given 2,825 screws were produced in a day. A day means one day. In one day, if it produces 2,825 screws, how many screws will it produce in 31 days? He is asking about January 2006 which is nothing but he is asking about 31 days. So, 31 times 8, 2825 that means 2825 should be multiplied by 31. So, let us write the statements. Number of screws produced or manufactured in one day. In a day means in one day. 2825. Next, number of screws produced in January. In any year, not only 2006, in any January, it contains bracket, you write 31 days, which is 2825 times 31 or 31 times 2825. So, let us multiply and check the answer 2825 multiply with 31. First multiply with 5, 1, 5, 2, 8, 2. Next multiply with 3, 3, 5 is 15. Right here, 3, 8 is 20, 3, 2 is 6 plus 1, 7, 3, 8 is 24. 3 to the 6, 7, 8. So the answer is 5, 7, 15, 6, 1, 7, 8, 87,006, 575. The answer is it produces in 31 days 87,575 screws. Right? So we will go to the next question. 
So the next question is a merchant had 78,592 rupees with her. She placed an order for purchasing 40 radio sets at 1200 rupees each. How much money will she remain with her after the purchase? This is the question. So here she wanted to purchase, she already has 78,592 rupees and she wanted to purchase 40 radio sets. So each radio set cost is given 1200 rupees. So you need to first find how much she has spent on 40 radio sets and that amount you subtract from what she has already made. So this amount and that amount if you subtract you will get the amount she left with. So our duty is to find first the cost of 40 radio sets. So you are given cost of each radio set. So let's write the statements cost of one radio set or each radio set is equal to 1200 rupees next cost of 40 radio sets which is 1200 times 40 so no need to multiply all the things just you multiply the numbers 12 and 4 12 fours are 48 and add these three zeros to side of 48. So this is the cost of 40 radio sets. So she had already amount with her 78,592. Let's write that. Amount or total amount with her in the beginning. Total amount with her in the beginning at first. Which is rupees 78,592 amount spent on 40 radio sets amount spent on 40 radio sets which is 48,000 just now we got 48,000 now subtract these two you will get the amount left with her so, write down the amount left with her or remain with her, which is, let's subtract 29503, very simple, no borrowing at all. So, 30,592 is the amount she left with after the spent of the 40 radio sets. Next, let us go to the next question. A student multiplied 7,236 by 65 instead of multiplying it by 56. Instead of multiplying by 56, he done by mistake with 65. By how much was his answer greater than the correct answer? By how much? He is asking by how much? By how much more was his answer greater than the correct answer? So, you will get a wrong answer if you do with 65, right? If you multiply 7,236 with 65, you will get a wrong answer because he has to do with the 7,236 multiplied with 56. So, instead of multiplying with 56, he multiplied with 65. So, what answer you will get if you multiply with 65? What answer you will get if you multiply with 56? So, this is the wrong answer and this is the correct answer. So, he is asking what is the difference between these two answers? How much more is the correct wrong answer more than the correct answer? So, is it needed to find out this answer and this answer and then you do the subtraction? No, not at all. You need not do this and this. Instead, you can just find the difference how many more number of times he has taken. So, just you take 65 and 56 and subtract. So, that gives you, this is the actual number 56, he has done with 65. So, if you take difference of these two numbers and multiply with 7,236, that gives you the answer what you got if you do these two things and subtract. Okay, this is the simple way to do this. So, what shall we do? Let us multiply 7,236 with 9. That's enough. So, no need to do with uh, 65 and 56 and red, get the two answers and then do subtraction. Instead, you can before only subtract how many times more he has taken the number instead of 65, he instead of 56, he has taken 65. So, 9 times he has multiplied more 
So, 7236 multiplied by 9 gives you the difference of these two answers. Not the correct answer. This is the difference. Directly you will get the difference of the two answers. So, 9 times 6. Just multiply these two things. 9, 6 is 54. 9, 3 is 27 plus 5. 32. And 9, 2 is 18 plus 3. 21. And 9, 7 is 63 plus 2. 65. So, the answer is 65,124. So, the difference between the correct answer and the wrong answer is 65,124. Let us do the remaining 4 questions in my next video. Follow my next video for the next 4 questions 9 to 12. Bye.